Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if you've been following along with this pattern, I just started thinking about it. And if you didn't watch part one and two, you'd be a little lost here. But if you just draw the first two lines and click on it, hold down the shift key and click on the second one, open up the effects, blend. And we'll bl remember, we blended 19 times in the last time. Well, we've already got two, so we're going to just do 17. And without having to put those lines there, it put it that quick. Now, it doesn't really cause a problem because a blend is a group, but we're going to delete it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then you can take, and let's put the yellow box in and put it to the back of the page, go to object, order, back of page, and then fill in with black or white every other one and I did white just so it would kind of show off that you could do any color. You know, you could you could make them blue. And it would give you a total different look. You know, if you were a printer and you were going to print this. And then if you notice, we can take our... Well, one, we can move that out of the way and grab that and just delete that blend totally. And then group this, control G, while holding down the control button, control D, and then mirror it. Let's just see. A lot of times the control will do that if you start moving it before. And remember in the last video, well, this one, we I must have just done it evenly because they're going to, oh, there it is. It's an odd number. We'll go ahead and take the yellow way because we don't need it now. Control G and group it. You know, and this time we're going to use, just so you'll get another tool, we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Transform, and Transformation, and we're going to rotate it 120 degrees, and we need two copies. And it did that. I think the blue looks really good. So the blend can help you do things a little quicker also. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.